What's good, y'all? It's me, Murky McSquirky, and today I found some Pokeball tins. I've got a little collection. You guys can't really see it right there. I've got those Pokeballs up there, and uh, those were all Pokemon Go tins. Yeah, all of those were Pokemon Go, and uh, it's pretty rare that I find any other like non-Pokemon Go tin balls uh, at the store, but I managed to get there right after a restock. And I found these three bad boys, and they're not Pokemon Go! <laughs> so I'm so excited. Uh, so let's pop them open. I, I'm pretty sure all three of these have Evolving Skies. Um, which I very rarely pull because it's so expensive comparatively, and just the pull rates are terrible. But it is always exciting to get that like that chance of those crazy, crazy uh, uh, alternate arts. I can't speak today. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's pop these open. I think I'm going to go this way. And uh, let's see what we got, alright? All right, so first up, we've got the Quick Ball Tin. Let's see what we can get here. We do have an Evolving Skies. Look, look, look how scuffed these packs get, though. That's the one thing about these Ball Tins. Fusion Strike, Chilling Rain, Evo Skies, and a little Good Luck Eevee. Let's see. I'm going to think I'm going to start like this. There we go. First up, Chilling Rain. You know, this is another set that I really didn't open too much. Um, I, you know, like everyone else, I got out of Pokemon TCG collecting. Um, I did it, you know, as a little kid, like everyone else back in the 90s. Um, but then, you know, life happened. I moved away from it. And uh, Lost Origin actually got me back into it. Looks like our hit is the Galarian Weezing Rare. So nothing crazy there. Uh, but yeah, that, that uh, who is it? The Shinji Kanda. Uh, oh! There you go, Kamiya. I just did a video about that. But, uh, yeah, so that that alt art Giratina got me back into collecting Pokemon. Um, so I've been pretty consistent since then, um, but not a ton prior to Lost Origins. Every now and then, if I see something on sale, I'll grab, um, you know, a pack or a box or whatever. But nothing, not, not a ton. So these are all, you know, like I said, packs that I, I don't open very often. So... This is exciting. See if ooh, I really like that card. That's beautiful. That's see, I love the commons that are like this, where it's just like I feel like if this art was the full card, this would be a, a hugely sought after card. But because it's a common, people just don't want it, I guess. But it, it's it's really good looking, you know. Respect to the commons. And we got a Blissey. I actually have this one in Japanese, I, and I don't have it uh, in English. So there you go. Oh, that's a cool little Perserker. Fusion Energy, Alessa Sparkle, and your code card. Nothing so far from this Quick Ball. This is a Quick Ball, right? I just, I'm pretty sure it's Quick Ball. Last pack, Evil Skies. Let's see what we can do. Well, last pack from this tin. We got six more packs left. Two more tins. That's one of my favorite Pikachu cards. Let me know. Um, oh, I love this EV2 with the Rayquaza in the back. That's so cool. Um, let me know. what Do you prefer uh, new skinny Pikachu, like the modern Pikachu, or Chubby Chew? I, I'm, I prefer... I'm sorry. I prefer the modern Pikachu. <laughs> I think it just looks better. And we got an upside down Talon Flame. <laughs> there we go. Fusions, not Fusion Strike, Evolving Cries Strikes again. But it's okay, we probably have two more, I'm pretty sure. And there's a backwards code card for you. All right, next up, get that one out of there. We've got the Level Ball. And I don't know why I didn't pre-open this. There we go, Evo Sky is right off the bat. And just so you know, if, for those who aren't aware, you can check these codes on the bottom to give you an idea of what packs are in them. So this one's a J21. This one was an A22. I believe J21 and A22 have the same packs in them. Um, but don't quote me on that. Let's see what pin we got. We got another Eevee. Uh-oh. That didn't help us last time. But let's see. We got Chilling Rain, Fusion Strike, and Evo Skies again. Let's let's do this order. Ooh. Hop it. Let's get it. So one thing I do I do really miss about uh, or in the in the main series games, the Apricorns and, and Pokeball creation that was introduced in Gen 2. 
that was so much fun. The, the Pokeball diversity, being able to like make your own Pokeballs, I feel like was a really cool mechanic that I think should absolutely be brought back. You know, we've got the space and capacity in these games nowadays, Game Freak, why are we stripping away, uh, stripping away features? No luck from Evo Skies, that's what I figured, but we're moving on to Chilling Rain. What do they call this one? Chilling Pain? I like, <laughs> those little, like, nicknames are pretty funny to me. Let's see, we got a Deli Bird on Christmas morning. A Porygon, just always looking lost. Ooh, I like that Gardevoir. It's a pretty cool scene. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> no way! Oh my god! Dude, yes! No way! We got Nalt Art! This is amazing! This is incredible! <laughs> oh, man! That's so exciting! Heck yeah, dude! Coming through, what else we get? There's your, uh, there's your code card. Oh, no! Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. What a great card. L I love the colors on this one. Like, it's like a rainbow in the background. It's, it's really vibrant. This is such a cool looking card. And I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna put this in something right now. Cause man, oh man. I'm, I'm sorry if I, I'm overly excited here. I've, I've only pulled like one alt art ever. Um, my other alt arts have all been singles purchases. So this is huge for me. I'm really pumped, man. Really exciting stuff. Thank you, thank you, Level Ball. Let's go, Fusion Strike. Oh no, my, I'm running out of memory. So I really hope this all gets captured. Let's see what else we got from this pack or this tin. Starting off with the more Pico, going into Skarmory, Shelmet. Looking pretty cool there, I like that card. Ooh, a little plus or mine in battle. We got a Muna. Toxtricity, one of my favorites, and an uh, Azumarill. <laughs> I don't know what I was about to say. That's a pretty cool Hariyama. Breloom looking cute and innocent. And a Cross Switcher. Dude, I'm so excited about that. Man, what a great pull. All right, Level Ball, you get out of here. All right, last one, we've got the Love Ball here with the same packs as before. We'll start with evolving skies let's see if we can get two alternate arts that would be absolutely phenomenal i'm already happy i pulled an alt art from a couple tins i'm already good to go but if we could double up that would just be absolutely phenomenal i'm starting to fly through these two because and we got another upside down one no alt arts from evo skies that kind of figures but i'm going through these pretty quick because my uh my memory is fading real quick there's your code card chilling rain chilling pain let's see what you can do for me do you got another one because that would be just mm -mm. chef's kiss phenomenal weedle and hair cross they're training i actually really like that card that's pretty cool that's a nice little little ralts there we got the spear tomb looking crazy and creepy and oh there we go a comia i love those you know you know there's the code card and the last pack of the day fusion strike upside down you throwing me off per usual oh geodude kicking it off my boy sizzlepeed clef key pan sage wooloo charge a bug and ooh, toxtricity i love toxtricity i'll take it and i think that's all we got and then there's the code card for you what a great pull i <laughs> I got the tins that I wanted. I got an alt art. Love to pull that. Uh, let me know, you know, what's your favorite Pokeball? That That's what I want to know. That's the question for today. Comment down below. What is your favorite Pokeball of all time? Uh, if you can like and subscribe to the video, really helps the channel. Um, even if you dislike it, I think that also helps the channel. So if you hated this content, that actually helps me uh, to know which content you like and which one you don't. So with that, I'm going to get going. As always, good luck with your polls.